Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have another video about the Gaia Online Unity 3D project where I try to rank Towns 1 into 2019 by bringing it into 3D in Unity 3D. So, if you've seen the last video, you've seen that I've created a second tile where we have like this little rest or picnic area, and you've got this nice little lake or ocean, and you know, I was quite happy with this. Based on the source material, which uh, didn't have much to work with, this came out pretty good. But today I want to show you a new tile, which uh, the Adventure 2 starts on this little corridor. I'm not super happy with it, but, you know, there's only so much you can do with what basically amounts to a path. But I tried to adopt this new style of level design, which I feel is best described as narrative driven instead of placing down fences because i need a fence or placing down a fence because you know it's by a road i try to say what's what's what could be going on here and then why could the things be the way that they are like for example this rock why is this fence here well this fence here there's a reason i won't bore you with the reason i come up with these and it's basically narrative driven like why is this fence falling down you know there's reasons um, I'm not crazy, I promise. It'll make more sense when I show you, well, this new tile, which I really hope is going to push the boundaries. That's what I tried to do with this tile, where I introduced this crazy concept of a pier and docks in this ocean. I wanted to push the boundaries again. I wanted to do something that hadn't been done in the project and introduce something new. One of those things was every tile has been pretty flat so far, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. And then is... I created some sort of height, um, and it turned out okay. So basically, one of the new tile is up here. You go up this hill or whatever, and um, you end up at this little village. And it's quite a nice village. It turned out pretty good. There's a lot more detail here than in the last tile. We've got some nice houses, and again, the narrative-driven development. This fence is here for a reason. There's a backstory to it. There's a lore reason. This fence is here for a reason. Um, I, I would be kind of boring to go through and tell you the reason for each, you know, why everything is where it is. But I think that approach has led to a, a more rich, organic, and believable world. Or rather than the last tile, which really just had docks, I, I think this one really needed to take this approach where... Uh, everything has a reason. There's there's some reason behind why these lights are here, even though it's the bright daylight. And that sort of shaped the way that I approached this tile. I wanted to have some sort of... Well, we needed houses first. We needed a house tile. But we needed some sort of height. It couldn't just be a flat tile. So I was like, okay, let's add this lake. We'll have this lake here. And uh, that's why I have that here. And... I just wanted to at least incorporate what we did in the last tile a little bit. I mean, why not have some water? It makes the world feel more real. You you had a whole planet that only had one body of water. It'd be pretty boring. So, yeah. This is uh, how it's turned out. I like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really do think it came out all right. We'll switch over into the cinematic mode so you can see it in its... uh cinematic beauty it's a little it's a little too dark too much contrast but it looks kind of cool like this obviously it's just for good for taking screenshots but yeah so there's there was a lot of effort into playing what i thought felt like an organic city here i mean i, I i'm talking like i'm some like fancy artist but i'm not i write software that's what i do i'm not good at artistic stuff but this came out pretty good and i think the and it's uh in part attributed to the approach you know basing the placement of things in a narrative way reasons have a reason or an excuse for something to be there why is it there and the result is a decent village you know i've never made a village before i don't really do level design like this so for my first one not bad I think not bad. So thanks for watching the video today, guys. 
I hope you guys are liking it. Give me as much feedback as you want. If you're a fan of Guy Online Towns, you know, let me know what you think. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.